What's up? What's up? You're. <laughs> you will come in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm TT. I'm Gigi. And I'm Didi. And this is episode two twenty six. Oh, you right. got of it. Of the Oprah Roll Show. You got it. Yeah, my my numer my numero dyslexia. You know, I just forget all the tabs. Because well, it was two fifty eight last week. It, well, I had it. No, I had to say like three hundred and fifty two. <laughs> I was, you know, I was like, we'll get there one day. Right. When, I was hungover in my defense. That day. Oh, okay. Like I'm gonna be tonight, but anyhow, I can't wait to be hungover. Can't wait. We're in LA, y'all. We are in LA. This is actually our first time. Me and Didi are finally. We are. We have come to the West Coast. Yes. yes. To join our good sister in Gigi. Yes. We felt bad because we were always making Gigi money come. No, y'all weren't making me to come. us. I was yeah. offering that. That's true. It was easier. We had like an established studio. Two yeah. people were in one location. Yeah, that's true. You know, it made sense. It was an excuse for me to leave. <laughs> oh, gosh, <laughs> like, okay. I love it. But G would come to New York and like not complain. Like no. as soon as we got here, I was like, that motherfucking flight was so long. Where it are my was. compression socks? Like that. Da, 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 Flying da, da, da. from New York to LA is low key far. Like it's six, yeah, hours. It's six it hours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get some time back, but it's still a long ass flight. Yeah, it is giving. Daryl tweeted, "Is like, is this what celebrities feel like to the set? Like we got off the plane and came straight here. Like I don't even have on a bra. Like I have now. I still have on plane Yo, clothes. We, it's just we're, we're we here. We were eating KFC. We still look cute. I'm like, we ate KFC. We I, had, had, I we haven't had, had KFC in like twenty years. We That's what we had. Twenty. Years. I haven't had it since I was a child. Yeah, like, a child. Literally a child. A child. And that grease was old, but whatever. We were starving. It and that was the only thing we could eat, but, you know, anything for y'all. Yes. Um, as always, like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes. Um, rate, send any of your questions, comments, and concerns to the Oprah Roll Show at gmail.com. Please. You know what? So, we are so excited. So yes. As per excited. usual, we are having a reoccurring guest. And y'all really loved his episode. Oh, yeah. And this was, this was back. What was we going back. Again? Way back. This episode was called Zam Zaddy. Zam Zaddy. With a Z. Zam Zaddy. Now this I have is 2017. 2017. Episode wow. 38. Yeah. Wow. We just said what? It was episode 226. That was episode 38. Uh, episode 38. Wow. Wow. Almost 200 episodes. I thought you were in the hundreds. That's wow. freaking crazy. I thought he was too. No. We, I, again, no time. No. Wow. Wow. Welcome back, Rodney Rakai. Hello. Woo! Hello. Hello. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, yeah. Proudly, exactly. the only person here who has not had KFC today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about that. You should be proud. And you should be. I know. I was like, and I was eating it just like, I cannot believe we eating this. Yeah, but same. You can have KFC like in Jamaica, right? Where KFC is the, the only thing. Yeah, the lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. You, can't, you can't do KFC in Hollywood. Listen, it's next door. It's next door. <laughs> so where we are recording right now. Our flight was delayed. <laughs> Judge like, you much? And we right. didn't want to keep you waiting. Exactly. So, That's yeah. what I Since said. 2017, wild things have been invented. We have Postmates. <laughs> <laughs> we have Uber Eats. There are okay, a we, bevy we went, of, of options. We went through all this, and we would have we been eating. It. it would have taken too long, and so we would have been eating on camera. Like, you know, this is a tight ship. Right. It's giving Matthew Knowles, okay? Uh, it's giving Joe Jackson. <laughs> So you gotta be in and out. It's given like you're running in heels on the treadmill Heard and singing. Singing. Heard singing. 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 Yeah. It's a tight shit, you know, so yeah. Couldn't No judgment, just observation. Mm-hmm. I did I was like, Do you want some KFC? He's like, hard pass. Well, damn. I go, like, well, more KFC for me. Exactly. You know? Not a hard yeah, pass. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, stay. Um, so since then so much has changed. Whew. Um, but you yeah, I wanna do list your entrepreneur. Slash host, slash creator, creator, mm-hmm. slash producer, slash producer, dad. slash dad. Yeah, or you were dad before. Gunk, 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 dad, 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 dad and uncle oh, together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a gunk? <laughs> <laughs> is it a gunk? Oh, that's a gay that's uncle. A gay okay, uncle. yeah, gay uncle. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, my yeah no, I was like, did I make that up? And then I thought about that. That's the thing. A gunk. Um. So multiple things, so so many titles yeah. you hold. It's a lot, and I apologize for anyone out there who's like, oh, this nigga's mad braggadocious. But it's important for us to acknowledge like who we are, what we are, especially when we're proud of it. Yeah. And I bust my ass. I bust my fucking ass to accomplish the things that I've accomplished and that I'm accomplishing. So they are as follows. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been, a, I've been a television host for the past 10 years. Everything from 106 in Park to Caffeine. I had a show on Oxygen. Currently had a, have a show on Revolt. And I have a brand new show coming out on Fox in partnership with TMZ. It's a daily show, five days a week. That's fire. Um, next week, I also have a new show coming out with TBS. 
um, that my company, Lately Early Productions, produced. I produced as well, and I'm also the main talent of. Um, I'm still the account manager for Hennessy in Los Angeles. And Where we going tonight? Uh, right. Yo, right. 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 Material girl. I see this watch. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> where we going? <laughs> Where are we gonna be hung over tonight? Yo, right. I'm not uh sorry not to deviate. I try though. not to go out like that, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, it's a, it's my job and I have to. I went out last night to Classic Cat. Um but generally like I don't really I try to limit my time out in the club. It's like a soulless environment. When you work in it, it's not as fun when you just gotta go yeah. and dip your toe. When I gotta live in it to a degree, it's like yeah. it's different. Yeah. Take me home. Yeah, yeah, understood. Yeah, man. Y'all look good. Look yeah. at these eyes popping. <laughs> GG got color contacts in. Taking it back to 89. I have no color contacts. These are my eyes. That's oh, 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 oh. the real color. Okay, hey, I was literally like, uh uh. Yeah, color contacts is like a, a big no no. Yeah, she is right. not on an episode of Ready to Love because all the bitches <laughs> right now got color contacts. I've never like, watched. No. Is it good? It's good. I love it. Yeah, it's like a mess. Yeah. And then I, what I do like about Ready to Love is that it's an older demographic of people who are trying to find love. So some of them have been yeah. married before. Like our age old or like? No, they're like No, they're actually it's... older. Oh, they're some yeah. our age, but then yeah. older too, yeah. They look at yeah, our age. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like not only no, no. no. yeah. 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 so 2017, Rodney did coin us as vintage vagina. So oh, technically, wow. I do wow. remember that. I do remember that. That is true. Yeah. And bitches wasn't even vintage. I'm definitely vintage now. I'm talking about compression socks, but like, yeah. we weren't even vintage. It was like we were just entering the vintage. Because we were 31. I was like, so let's go back. We was 31. It was 2017. Yeah. yeah. You did not have hair. No. Make sure y'all watch not, the YouTube not just so mom. you can see. Yeah, you yeah. can see you can see his. Now, what do y'all call these? Because I call them plats. I call them plats too. In Jersey, we call them box braids. Yeah, I that's not. They're braids. not box braids. Box braids. They are plats. Yes, nah, that is what we. Like we all listen. We all come from very different places. Yeah. <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> I said respectfully. I just yeah, said yeah, little yeah, fuck. Where you from? Oh Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. So it's it's different. I mean, but culturally, it's all good. Plats. Um. Okay. So you have plats now. <laughs> Uh, your your uh, dunkle. Yeah, I have full uh, possession of both my fourteen year old son and sixteen year old nephew. So it's just us three out here in LA, no family. Life is very different. Like I feel like people don't fully understand that my LA life is a lot different than most people's. Yeah. Um, I don't know anybody with my set of circumstances, and that's not saying that I'm like special, but yeah. when I'm like, I can't. Yeah. I, yeah. You really can't. Can. Yeah. Yeah. I really can't. Yeah. Yo. yeah. What is that like? So, I mean, I feel like that seems so chaotic of like two, right? like teenage like, boys. Teenage boys. Yeah, it's it's different. I'm I'm thankful that I have this pair than any other pair. Mm. Uh, they are beautiful. They are brilliant. They both needed a little kick in the ass, but they're they're good. You know, they they take care of themselves. They're generally pretty clean, um, and they're well intended. And that's the most beautiful thing about about raising both of them. Um, they allow me the flexibility and freedom to still be myself, to still pursue my dreams and passions. Um, and we support each other in that capacity. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, that has to be like a really good age. Because it's really, I think, I guess as, you know, also as a parent, but like in this young age, it's exhausting like um, physically, I would say. Not necessarily mentally, but I can imagine for a teenager that that could probably be a little bit tiring. Uh it's chill. It's chill. You have a very active daughter, though, right? If I, yeah, yeah, if I yeah. read your tweets correctly. Yeah. <laughs> you got a very yeah. active daughter. Yeah. My kids, they be chill. They ain't really... Because <laughs> well, they, they grown, I feel like. Right. I feel like they... Yeah. You know, yeah. at 14, I feel like you're... 14, 16... I remember when I turned 16, I thought I knew everything. Oh, of course. course. And I needed and a job and a car. Yeah, I needed a job, a car. <laughs> you know, you think you are so grown and you still have, like, so much life to leave. So you're was. like, I'm doing away with, like, childish things and you're really just such a child. So, I, I yeah. They're not like that. They, no, they, like, they don't want to like, drive. I'm like, Yo, really? Wanna, they, they don't, don't want to do any of that. It's wow. like, do they catch Uber like and left on their own? Yeah, my son be renting them damn scooters, too. It's yeah. really, like, <laughs> mad bread. Which, I'm like, That's damn. the thing now. Like, no, seriously, like, some... Like, people I know that are around that age, yeah. they don't want to drive because they can rent whatever they need really? to do. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's and crazy. And they can just pull up Uber I mean, I was thinking because L.A. is a little intimidating just with all the traffic, you know. It's like, but they're from the East Coast, yeah. though, so maybe. Yeah. No, nah, they just, they, it's just not about that. They, I mean, I don't know if they're emblematic of, like, the entirety of their generation, but mm. they really don't care about a lot of the things that I cared about. Like, both of these kids are like, yo, I'm not really thinking about sex. I'm like, what, nigga? I really? just dry up and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, or, but, no, I just, what are you 
busting it down. So they're right. going to... They're, yeah, 16. Yeah, it's fucking already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep in the rabbit hole. Yeah. And they don't, care, don't care about that. Like They don't care about That's great. Oh, I love that. Yeah, they be beating off. They be mad. Like I told them we have a house rule. Do not beat off in my towels, paper towels only. Oh, okay. And that trash yeah. can be flooded. Oh, <laughs> my God. This is like living with all men. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. But I appreciate yeah. that you have that conversation yeah. and that they they feel open to even discuss that with you or even, like, don't have to hide it. Yeah. yeah. I think as being 16 and, like, masturbating, like, I was doing it, too, but I felt like I had to hide it. It wasn't yeah. a conversation Everything. I think you had to hide. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't even have conversations if I liked someone. Like, right. I felt like everything had to oh, be. Like, hell nah. You hit. like somebody? Yeah. Hell nah. Yeah, like, and it what? almost makes you, like, secretive, but, like, yeah. you felt like you couldn't come to, you yeah. know, whomever, right. like, your parent or whatever. Yeah. That's that generation, though. They were, like, yeah. they, they treated us weird. In, in hindsight and retrospect, when you think about it, like, Tran, why are you chastising me because I like someone? Like, why, yeah, are, you, for why are you embarrassing me? Like, you're yeah. making me uncomfortable to be able to talk to you about normal shit. Right. right. Now I'm shut down, I'm shut up. I don't want yeah. that kind of relationship yeah. with these yeah. kids. I'm trying to Same. establish a different culture. Entirely. Yeah. So how is it with that. you in terms of, like, dating? Like, do you express Whoa. your dating life in regards <laughs> to, like, what you're going through? Um, <laughs> nah, you know what? I was raised by a, a supreme womanizer. And so, like, I never brought women around my son uh, because I never wanted to expose him to the things that I was exposed to because it normalized a lot of my behaviors that I now recognize as problematic and unhealthy. Um, so I'm trying to set him off on a better better start. It's tough, man. You know, I'm still... It's harder. It's hard. You know, this... The world has changed so much. Like, our generation has experienced so much shit, bro. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. how we, like, society has evolved. And, and we're, we've just been the cusp of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to accept it on the fly. And I've, you know, at, at this day and age, a lot of the things that I used to get away with, not like I was out here, like, you know, slipping the Mickey. Yeah. But a lot of the things that I used to get away with, you can't do, you can't do that shit say. no more. You, yeah. no, no, I think that's the big yeah. thing around right? yeah. like, things that you can say. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a balancing act. So I don't I don't necessarily bring like women around, you know, the kids. I do tell them like oh, I'm gonna go out on a date or something like that. But I don't I I haven't had a woman in my house since they've been here. Wow. So you just go to their house? Yeah, I got <laughs> <laughs> They got cribs. And you know what's crazy? I got this like dope uh, penthouse, two bedroom, two bath, overlooking mountain. It's fly. And so when I got it, the kids wasn't here yet. And then, you know, I was like, oh, it's about to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then these little motherfuckers. Just... And now it's just uh, cum filled, yeah. a trash can full of cum filled penthouse. Wow. <laughs> Damn. So, so how what would be a situation where you would introduce like would it have to be a serious relationship yeah, sure. and like is there like is there something in your mind that would like create that or like that you classify as that like someone you've been seeing for a year or two years or like how do you identify or I guess like what would it be for you to say like okay this is the person that I would like to introduce my son and my uh, nephew to like every other aspect of my life like I'm spirit led so there is no like definitive timeline mm. on it you know, when things feel right is, is when I'll make the introduction. I trust I trust my intuition. And so uh, I'll have to rely on that. We live in LA, though, so the idea of finding a serious partner, unless you revisit the past, like some of us may have, uh, <laughs> makes it makes it tough to, to yeah, really identify. The past. No, during the pandemic, I was deep in the past. <laughs> in the DeLorean, like, <laughs> long ago. But, yeah, you know, it's different. Not a, you think it's harder... To date in LA than it than is. Any, I lived in DC, New York, uh, North Carolina, Atlanta, spent time in Vegas. I'm well traveled. Ain't nothing like LA. This shit is different. In a good way or bad way? In an awful way. I, I believe it. Yeah. In an awful way. But what's like, so bad about it? <clears throat> um, well, I didn't come to LA young. I didn't come here in my 20s, right? And mm-hmm. so uh, there was a structure that was established before I got here that my friends already had. I wasn't in the mix for a lot of the fun years. Like, you know if you missed that window in New York yeah. when everybody yeah. was outside? So like yeah. 2019. You know what I mean? and, right. Like, and, well, but well, 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 before, before that. Well yeah. before that. But if you moved oh, after yeah. that. Like 9 to 12. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Y'all know I have no concept of time. Yeah. yeah. So if you moved to New York in like 17 or 18. It's different. Yeah, it was totally yeah. like You missed it. You missed him too. You missed Green House. I think 16 was the, yeah. the, the, the last year. Yeah, 16 yeah. was the last year. 16 so, was definitely the last yeah. year. So... In LA, I, I came late, so I didn't. I don't have the the established relationships like other people, and the other people already have so many relationships, and it's just a lot of like mixing 
and then you know everybody from New York moved out here, and it's just like ah, I already know that crop, right. yeah. you know. And this is a very selfish city. We we move here for a very specific reason to achieve our craziest dreams. Right. Yeah. That's tough enough as it is. So when you compart when you when you throw into that trying to find love, it's just like we ain't got time for that shit, man. Right. I'm trying, I'm here for the for the bag. Yeah. I always I would never move to LA single. Like I would have to be getting such a big check. Specifically, I think as a black woman that wants to date black men, yeah. like I, I would mm. not. It would have Emphasis like I literally have a number in my head that would make me that I would move for like because it's just gonna be me. And I'm be the I'm definitely gonna be the rich auntie like for sure for sure because I think specifically like most people I know that have moved here have moved in relationships like that whole like crop of like people coming yeah. from Brooklyn. I know a lot of people that have moved in now. So specific. Yeah. It's the crop coming from Brooklyn. Like, yeah. Yeah. Those, those, three, those three motherfuckers don't yes. account for everybody. But, but they kind of do, right? We all know the same right. people. But I think, but it says something that, like, like I said, you are typically moving with a partner. I don't know too many women, black women, that have come here that have been here, and I'm talking about you know a decade or so, and have actually found love here. Yeah, um, it's a little terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. I don't. I cannot think of one woman. Yeah, my little single split here was. It was crazy. <laughs> that little single split. Yeah, that was. But weird. even you, you, weird. you didn't move here. Like you know, you moved yeah, here for a specific moved to, reason. Yeah, moved to you know, like. Reason, yeah. But everybody else, like I said, women, black women that I know have moved here. I don't know anyone in a relationship. Okay. Well, I do have a question though. When you move to another city and you move single, does your body count restart? Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, <body> <laughs> um, I mean, mine restarted in general. <laughs> Not I think in, after, in general. I think after a certain amount of time, it just, you know, they just go away. You know, I for really, you. We always said, listen, Dre's little. Yeah, your home my is home has got deleted. deleted. It's very yeah, true. That shit don't exist anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the only thing that matters is if it's like, if I'm dating you and it's like, Maybe I have a history with somebody close to you. Uh, that's um, a way in a nutshell. Yeah, um, yeah um, everybody's yeah. fucked everybody here that I've realized. Yeah. <laughs> but so it's very one. Window, it's though. one degree of separation. Yeah. I feel like for any kind of major city, like with, yeah, especially with black people. Yeah, yeah. So that it's just kind of like bound to happen. Yeah. I hate to say it, but like it is. And it, and then you know throw entertainment in there as well. Like we yeah, even established industry. that we yeah. or we said it, that we were Eskimo sisters. Yeah, even the last time Ronnie was on. <laughs> <laughs> Like I feel like that in the morning every day. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, it's like it—it it just it had happened. Listen, like. I mean, because it's been the conversation on the Twitter spheres around like body count. Yep. Just came up with Lil Durk and his comments in the podcast, just around the fact that his girl currently had a low body count, and that to was his reason, to his not okay. Yeah, to his not. She lied. I ain't gonna say she I lied. Gonna say she I'm lied. not gonna lied. track her vagina, but. If, even if she had more bodies than she claimed, mm-hmm. does that does her value depreciate? Right. I don't think so no, at yeah, all. No, but no. apparently to him it does. Mm-hmm. I understand not wanting somebody who's been with everybody. I don't think that that is a negative thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I just also think that you should hold yourself to that same standard when you want that type of request. Yeah, I would. You I know? would want the same thing. If, uh, I, if I'm asking you for something, I expect that I'm also doing it too. Right. Yeah. It is, but you know, that's one of those unfortunate double standards that men can get away with. Men can very easily say, like, yeah. no, you know, I don't want you passed around, but you can be a whole whore. And then it's either, as women, we're like, okay, it's okay, that was in the past or whatever. And, I, and honestly, I think to an extent, men, because to, to what you said, I don't think anybody, or no, 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 let me take that back. Because some people, I think, just don't care if you are, like, passed around. Like, we yeah. see. What is passed around? If you made a decision <laughs> to share your, think, your being with someone, let's not use the no, word passed around. Right. You, that is, it's not nice. I think it's so harsh. I think you just, like, sex shaming. Yeah. I think what you just know, I, it, like I said, it depends on the man or the woman. Like, right. if I know, like, you, you are with, I met you from a can of paint, and I see you, and I'm like, you've been with. Da, 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 da. And I don't care. Like, th- this is the person that I want. Right. That could also, that same woman could be looked at by another man or person as, you know, I'm doing air quotes, yeah, yeah, yeah. passed around. Um, so, again, if you are someone that does not want that, then you are probably going to see, you probably got to seek someone that's like, not like an IG verified account and shit like that. You I mean, you never no, know. I don't think that has anything to do with I don't either. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit. 
I mean, people I think, think about it. Th- people do consider that into dating and like, oh, they have a high follower account, so like people know them or people. Or I, but I do. People. Do I think that there are some men that are like, she been with this person, like I wanted to. Yes. Yeah, but y'all ain't checking for them niggas anyway. Those ain't the kind of niggas who even on your frequency. So we be. Yeah, no, we, so, we, we, so we have. Like, so one no. of the things that I've noticed is we have conversations about people who are not even operating on our frequency. We yeah. have to allow that low vibrational frequency to exist where it is and not yeah. even acknowledge it in mm. in the Come real nigga circle. Come and that's just we we because we validate it. When we react, right. we respond mm-hmm. to weirdo yeah. niggas saying weirdo shit, we're allowing the table where shit is actually dictated and determined to give them validity. Yeah. And that's just it's we shouldn't do that. Like I don't care what these goofy ass niggas who make podcasts might be saying. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that nigga. I wouldn't shake that nigga hand if he was in here right now. Yeah. Why would I react to his, his dumbass words? Because we have seen so much of that, of like all these mm-hmm. podcasts of these men. Yeah. You know, like just saying crazy shit. And, and it's just uh, shock value. That's I was what just I say, is, is it really is clickbait? Now. Like, I know. Okay, so in your opinion, you think niggas really think like this? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It's mad. Son, think about in the last like eight years, right? Like just seeing our country. Right. People think crazy. Niggas that's think true. that because you black, you dumb. Yeah. yeah, like that's a real ideology for some people. Like, oh, yeah. we're white, we're definitely superior. Yeah. Right, yeah. like that's yeah. a real thing. People have crazy ideas, and then they'll reference like old ass fucking shit that they did or uh, research studies that was obviously like not accurate, right? But and they will reference that and try to use that as a material to prove their point. But yeah, you're right. You can find a statistic to back up anything. Any thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, So, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not invested in in them peewee niggas. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a I mean, because people were definitely agreeing with what he said too. Like, if you like look under the, the comments, video and the yeah. comments mm-hmm. and the quote tweets, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, if anything, I would rather you go out there and experience your life and experience yourself, so that I know you're done with that, and you came yeah. to me already. Like, that you part. got that out of you yeah, already. You don't like IKEA yeah. furniture. Come pre assembly. Yeah, come pre assembly. <laughs> come deliver to me already. Please. Like, I will wait the three, four months for the for the couch. Yeah. I, I wanna I don't know how old Dirk is. I think he like in that 26, 27 year old range of Twenty eight. Okay. So okay. he grew up in a very interesting time where like the internet shaped and formed a lot of his opinions and thoughts. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And he's from a, he's from the jungle. He's from a very interesting environment that might not be as evolved as I don't, even the word evolved is like implies that things should be a certain way. He's from a place that maybe that's just what they believe. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I don't wanna I don't wanna overly criticize him because in ten years he's gonna be a different man. Lord willing he's still here with us. So yeah. I wanna offer him that grace to be like, yo, in, in time, you know, when your daughters get older, you might change your, your position a little bit. Yeah. 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 I think that was perfectly said. I yeah. do too. I Giving know. people grace. We Yo. always talk about that. Yeah. Like, I mean, not, yeah. A lot of it's like, you did no, that's wrong. Ah yeah. ah ah like Always talk about them because yeah. we don't want it. Yeah. Um, this girl had tweeted. She was like, "Anytime somebody asks your body count, the only acceptable response is to say a number over 100. Literally anything." Agreed. I said 743 <laughs> once. The dude started sweating. <laughs> First of all, I've never you said been agreed. Asked that. Yeah. No. That's my kind of woman, though. Yeah, I've never been asked that question. Like, I, I I've never been asked. You know, like, like, if somebody like, was to ask you that, like, this is the we're we're done. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've never been asked that. Atlanta, juvenile. nobody asked you. Atlanta niggas be insecure. That was a long time. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean like oh, col- yeah. I don't even know. I can't even go back. I don't remember what I did yesterday, let alone college. Two, I feel like that is 15. a conversation. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Cause Cause it's, it's, it's a very, it's a juvenile kind right. of. But as yes. an adult, well, like no, no, because no, in college I had a boyfriend for three years, and then my senior year I got single and I just caught up. But nobody asked me any questions <laughs> because up. everybody knew. I was with somebody. <laughs> and so I just, on that, that senior year was, I made up a lost time for you didn't sure. You in college? Uh, okay, no, 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 I think worry. I did. Okay. Yeah, right. I think I did. Right. Towards the end. <laughs> you gotta cheat, you gotta cheat in college. Cheater, so like, yeah. My lord. Yeah, I think that I did, I'm sure I did. Let's, let's unpack, what, you, you're a cheater? Like, yeah, I'm a cheater. Okay. I've cheated, yeah. Like, what, why, why have you cheated? What are the reasons? Um, not emotionally satisfied, not sexually satisfied, not paid attention to, um, mm. uh, you cheated first. Uh, that's like the number one thing. Did he know that you knew that he cheated and that you were cheating back? Nah. Oh, oh. No, they know, no, they knew that I knew that they oh, cheated, okay, but okay. they never knew that, that I cheated, cheated back. back. Right. No. Interesting. Mm. Women can hide that. I, I hate to say, women are better cheaters. Like, yeah. mm. From what I hear. You think that men are better cheaters? I think that 
it is a it is not gender exclusive. <laughs> I agree. I think I that there's think that there's some very oil, very slick oil cans in, in the male gender. <laughs> <laughs> that know how to move and maneuver. Okay, that, that is true. Yeah. yeah. But nice. within, within reason, though, and I guess, well, actually, I'll table that and you say what you was going to say. No, go ahead, because I don't even remember. Because I, I had something I don't remember. Because I was going to get into, like, the concept of, like, monogamy mm. and... I had motive, right, to cheat, but I think just, like, out of curiosity, I wanted to just be also with somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, and so I did not, no longer wanted to be monogamous. However, you know, we don't really live, like, in a society where that is acceptable. Right. Um, even if you are just dating or in a relationship, um, it's definitely, like, off limits when you're married, unless that is something that you, you know, have with your partner um which i have a really close friend who has been married for almost 10 years and recently i think maybe in the last year of their marriage uh they decided to have like an open marriage um more so because she is bisexual and has always been since i've known her but has like i guess i don't want to say put it on the table put it on the shelf or whatever yeah, the so that she could be in, in a heterosexual relationship now with her husband bring out that freaking drive <laughs> <laughs> oh yes in the back yeah. of that get that yeah. right right um and so it's interesting hearing her and her husband talk about like their experiences openly um with how they like go about in uh, indulging or um meeting new people and for her, more specifically with women, um, she finds it difficult to like just date a woman or find someone who is accept or who is like yeah, accepting yeah. of her marriage, not trying to like really, really be her girlfriend, take all her time and all her energy and mm. things like so that. So the girl be trying because to get wife by her life. Yes, because I would if imagine, you think about like, it, I, guess, I mean, I'm not a yeah. lesbian, right? Mad but they know yeah. they move yeah. fast. Yeah. That's like, the thing. She's trying to move in with the two right. of them. Right. Yeah. So she like, she said it's always been a very, like, it ends up being a hard stop because no one, wow. they, there, there becomes like this possessiveness, like, nah, mm -hmm. you know. So I said all I of that you to with your say, husband, but what about me? Like <laughs> what, you just you? said why? <laughs> right, right, literally. <laughs> what are your thoughts on monogamy? And this can be like a question for the table in general. What are your thoughts on monogamy? Um, should you become married? Would open an open marriage be something that you and maybe your partner or not be interested in? Um, or and would you date somebody who is married in in an open relationship? I would not date anyone that was in an open relationship if they're married. I think it's just complicated. And mm -hmm. I would just feel like, I'm a cancer, I'm a lover, I'm emotional as hell. <laughs> so, like, I, I'm going to be like, I need your time. Like, yeah. what's going on? I'm not about to keep texting and calling you, like, do both of y'all want to date me now? Like, it's like <laughs> what's, what are we doing? So, for me, I, I don't think I could do that. My thoughts on monogamy is, I think people just innately are just attracted to other people. And yeah. so... I think if you are secure in your relationship and you have someone who understands that and you communicate, I think that's the biggest thing is the communication part of being like, I think this person is cute. I think this person is sexy. I would have sex with this person. It kind of can progress, but then maybe you, you know, do other things. You can threesome, swingers. I, mm. I don't know anyone who's a swinger, but I'm sure it's a thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't done it, but I'm open. And you've been in a seven years? Six? Oh, seven. Yeah, seven probably years? eight. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh my yeah. Wow. Been there. <clears throat> Shout out to you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that monogamy, monogamy should be negotiated. And mm -hmm. I think all terms of relationships should be negotiated. Instead of like having uh, an assumption about what something will be, what someone is. Like We need to talk about what we are. And I think that we're finally getting to a place where people are now feeling more comfortable and finding the verbiage to be able to articulate how they feel about things. And people have softened. As I said earlier, the world has changed. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different time. Sure. Like people are a little bit more understanding of just like different ways of living than they've ever been. Um, and a lot of us ain't even going to church no more anyway. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> all of that like Christian yes. like relationship. That, that, that does have something to do with it though. One thousand percent. Like, like, yeah. like it really actually does. very much so does. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that, you know, whether you're monogamous, whether you're polyamorous, whether you're polygamous, whatever it is, like have the conversation and be honest enough with whomever it is you're partnering with to be, you know, forthcoming about what it is that you want, what you expect, what you can handle, what you can't handle. 
Um, but then at the same time, I, this is like a theme I've been living by for like the last like two years. We are not any less responsible for the brunt of our emotional damage because we were honest about what we intended to do. Wait, say that one more time? We that are, was good. <laughs> right. We are not exonerated mm. from the damage that we cause emotionally because we were honest about what we intended to do. So because mm. I hear you. I hear you. No, 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 no. As a man, yeah, as a say, man yeah. dealing with women, okay. it's, which is which is a different thing, right? Like we have to be protectors to a degree. Right. And at this age, we know when we are being manipulative, even with the truth. The truth can be very manipulative. Like yeah. I can tell you something and I can look you in your spirit right. and know that you can't handle what the fuck I just said. But, I said it. but because you desire a thing that you think that I am or could be for you, you are going to accept those terms, thereby mm. compromising your core value system. Mm. It does not exonerate me because I looked you in your eye and heard what you said right. and knew you couldn't handle it yeah. and proceeded without caution. That's Ooh. fucked up. That's, mm. It is, but I, I do okay. think there has to be some accountability for sure bit, you know and I, and I hate to be like on the woman's part yeah. because a lot like you know it is a lot but of times i don't think he i don't think he was mean he i think he was just saying both parties are yeah we yeah. still on the hook even with honesty and yeah. i yeah. agree women yeah. have to be responsible too but yeah for sure yeah, yeah. But, you, but come on fam like you know shorty couldn't handle that right yeah true okay right yeah but it's like do you not say it because she couldn't handle it no 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 you remove yourself from it's okay to remove yourself from people mm. You know what I mean? Like, in this fallout from that, mm -hmm. I, I, I get slammed. I've been slammed a lot. I'm trying to build better relationships with women. I've I've had tumultuous dealings for the last however many years. And I'm trying to be better about it. And these are just some of the realizations that I've come to as a nigga who's been outside since he was 13 years old. Right. Um, and I'm trying to be better. And these are some of the formulas that I feel like are giving me a little bit more um, more peace. Mm. That's all I'm in search of at this, yeah. at this stage in the game. Peace. Peace. And I, I, said, I literally said that last Must week. Must be real. Yeah. Yeah. You get yeah. there, baby. I literally baby. was talking about something. I just need some peace. I said, I just want peace. I was like, mm. that's, I, that's real. literally, that's that is real. the only thing. that When you get to that stage, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's very, very real. Yeah. yeah, but I even think, you know, in honesty, being honest with your partner and telling them these things that you desire, these things that you want, sometimes the other person does have to bend if it's something that you want to do to please them mm -hmm. and to make sure that they are happy but as the person that's bending i guess it's a question of them whether or not they would want to do that or stay with this person to keep them happy for sure i just i just feel like we live in this age like oh well i was honest right yeah, yeah. and that's that doesn't that's mean you yeah. off the hook fam like yeah you were honest congratulations right. bro but you still did fucked up shit right. in the midst yeah. of your honesty that's all i'm really saying yeah yeah, it's tough. It really is, it is. tough because it, it, it re requires a level of maturity also on both parties. So, like, I might be here, but you're not there. So we can't even really have this conversation because we're not, e we're, we're not even in the same chapter of the same book. Yeah. 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 Um, I think back to your question, um, I agree with what both of you said about um, monogamy. I think that that hard the hardest part is one also you have to know yourself and what you yeah. need and mm -hmm. want before you even can have a conversation mm -hmm. with whomever your partner is. Um, would I date someone in an open marriage? <laughs> yes. Because um, then I think it goes back to, again, it's like we know the boundaries. And I, because right. I, I am someone that like... You're fine with that boundary. Yeah, and I, you know, I can very much like, this is this box, this is this box, yeah. like this is like, that. I, so, if I did it, I couldn't be single dating you in a marriage. I mean, I've kind of done it in a relationship, yeah. um, but well, it wasn't sure. open, actually, that's technically. Fair. You know, it wasn't even fucking open. It's like, I guess open it's, will make it easier. You know. I mean, you, you know <laughs> yeah. what you signed right. up for yeah. sometimes. And, I mean, is it... You guys have good times. Like, I'm the fun person. I think that's also it. You have to know, right. like, yeah. I'm here. And now, I'm fun does, it, does it pose problems? Do you catch feelings? Absolutely. Mm. But... I think that is when you have to be like reel it in, like, oh nope, I know what I signed right. up for. Like, right. I, I, I literally, <laughs> I, like you said, I'm the fun person. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you think happens with women, especially? I, I can't, I don't know about I, men, but let, you think I'm, women can compartmentalize like that? Let's I'm, I'm telling you. Well, as a for woman, most, most, like most. Man. yeah, most. No, 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 no. Because, it, like I said, <laughs> it gets it messy. Well. Yeah, it gets extremely. It could, yeah. Extremely yeah. I need some messy. Gifts or something. Yeah, and then you do it for that. I yeah, had to say like, that, I, but you know, I, I, you know, like, as I keep thinking it about it, bro, I'm like, you know, to keep me happy too, I'm gonna need a little something. Keep me quiet, like, keep me quiet. Like, keep me quiet. Well, if it's open, I don't have to be quiet. True. Yeah. What am I? 
I'm not showing up yeah. to stuff unless you invite me, but like, you know, I have a little something on the gas. <laughs> that's <laughs> easy, huh? But that's crazy. That's acceptable. Oh, damn. Now gas. you need you like can a, a gas. You can't be fucking paying bills and shit. Oh, though. my God. Yeah, that gas. I mean, that's a gift. If I ain't got to pay my gas own is, bills. That's okay. Yeah, you know, fella, take it. You have an expectation of, of gifts? Is that something that you need? It's not. My, like, love language gifts is at the bottom. Okay. But it's like I'm obviously doing this. For something else than I would normally have, mm. and so you're not. I'm not with you to because mine is words of affirmation. I'm not with you for words of affirmation, or I'd be with somebody. Got you like that. But I think if I'm doing this, I want something different than what I would normally get. So I want some gifts. Okay. Let me ask you. I was having this conversation just yesterday about yeah. my recording, um, and as a heterosexual man, like a lot of uh, the responsibility of the financial investment falls on me in situations yeah. when trying to get to know women, right? Which I hate because most people ain't worth your time. So why the fuck would I let you waste my money? Yeah. Um, so in the gay community, like yeah. how does that, how does the courting work? Like who is responsible for, for paying for what? Yeah. Hold on one second. Cause we talk about money. We gonna pause to pay some bills <laughs> real quick. Bills I just said it. Right on Gas back. is high as shit. Is high. You know, I just got my testie back. I don't have those issues, but like but you, for everybody else, them, them car payments higher. Them car pay- right. No, and they're not. So. Oh, okay. She put a lot on the down payment. No, you listen. We figured it out. She got an 850. We figured okay. it out. My sister's got an 850. That's what they was just talking about on the Twitter, so I just had to throw it up in there. Oh, I know. I kept seeing that. I was like, they're actually not. Them niggas are right. Joe, yeah. I was like, Joe, no. Joe, no. Tessie gang. Um, okay. We'll be right back. So, to answer the question, it's all about going Dutch. Like, my thing is, like, if we're going out to eat, I have a job, you got a job. <laughs> Where card at? And they still are. And we still not even recording him. him and his seven year relationship. Yeah. They still, yeah. still go Dutch on go Dutch. everything. Everything. Because I think we both bring an equal thing to this thing we got going on here. I know how much you make. You know how much I make. Let's just go. Let's just what break this down. What a luxury. <laughs> that is. Shout out to gay niggas. That's, a, that's amazing, bro. <laughs> Shout out to gay niggas. <laughs> I don't even know yeah. what term go Dutch is, but. To anyone who doesn't you're splitting the bill. You're splitting, like, the, you're bill. splitting the bill. Um, yeah. Evenly. <laughs> splitting yeah. the bill evenly. Yo, I... And bills even. I mean, when we pay the rent and for the apartment, I go and log on, pay my little half. Yo. I, I guess he pays his because they ain't telling I'm that. I'm dead. Oh, y'all don't even like give me a half. Yeah, yes. like nobody's That's like, you know, you didn't pay your half this month. So I assume that he paid his half too. Wow. Yo, women. Black women. <laughs> black women. <laughs> black women. <laughs> Why can't we adopt this principality? It's seriously, how, like, does that sound like something that you would sign up for? Fuck no! Okay, hold on. Why you, make ma- you are C Sneak. You make mad bread. <laughs> yeah, why can't you you are mad? breaded up. Look at this. I, this, I actually, this wrist is so I, heavy. I, <laughs> this is a heavy I wrist. I, j- I was actually, funny enough, I was just having this conversation like last week amongst, it was like at a restaurant. No, you know what I think it is. When we were talking about the double standards before and how men can say men can sleep with thirty thousand women, but once you only have five by in the past. This is we let. This is the only time, not only, but this these that is the only thing like patriarchy can benefit us. That I like to keep my money, and I want to keep it. That does not mean I'm not going to spend it. It does not mean obviously like for everything, every single solitary thing. But like I think mine, like if I pay, I'm just going to pay. Like if you pay, then yeah. you're going to pay. But we don't really like split you know yeah. like but that's okay and it's not that i'm not days. it's like yeah if we go to dinner and you pay for dinner and we go for drinks after then i'm i'm grabbing the drinks at the bar okay. like or at the yeah. wherever we're at like i've never i've never been like crazy about you have to spend all of this money on me i think Unless i just fell into that to be right. honest birthdays Birthday, yeah birthdays yes oh yeah but not like every time yeah, like, do i think a man should pay for every single solitary date everything no i do not think maybe that. a first date like even first, I'm first, ask, yeah. first, yeah, the first. No, yeah, it's giving no, first. No, it's it's giving first forty eight. You, you better court me too, yo, 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 yo. Niggas can be bad bitches too, man. Let's not get it. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. No, you feel me? I make a lot of money. I'm a, I'm a good nigga. I'm solid. I'm educated. I'm a little funny. I got. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't like niggas knowing they worth. I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate when niggas say no. 
And they didn't know they was bad bitches. Yeah, that's a and y'all didn't know. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I, better I, like I don't like that bad bitch. Being able to see. No. Hello. There's only one bad bitch and it's me. Hello, and it's me. It's but I don't have any no problem spending money on my nigga. I'm not spending money on a person that I'm like getting to know. I'm just not. Not like that. No, yeah, like drinks, cool, yeah. whatever. But, but I'll spend money on my nigga for sure. You are courting me. And I'm so Why are you not courting me? And that, right? Y'all are so selectively traditional, and I fucking Yes! I'm t- yes! I don't I'm like t- that. I agree. You choose, you choose parts of, of tradition that benefits you in any given moment. Like, and I think that's so whack. Like, either Absolutely. let it go. Either, so don't, don't. So do you want equality across the board? I just want to be paid equally. Now, that doesn't mean. So right, mean but you don't want to spend You might equally. make more. You know? Men make more. White women make more money on the dollar than black women. We are at the bottom of the totem pole. So if you even look at economically the way that is set up. We shouldn't be paying. I don't want to. I don't want to turn it into this. <laughs> I mean, she done. She done brought it there. But, but... yo, black men, right? Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> it's really difficult for black men. I believe in that. general and black women. I'm not. I'm not like, saying I believe it's that. not yeah, I believe black that. Men, yeah. Yeah. It, it is very difficult for black men, and a lot of us don't even have an understanding of long term finances because we genuinely do not think we're gonna be here for a long time. I extremely and, believe that. And so, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of the things that fall on us financially, like we do it just because society says that we're supposed to, but it puts us further into a hole. And it's really not fair. Like so we you shouldn't date mad bitches. No, it's not about mad bitches. I Oh, how can I? Um, <laughs> recently, I was okay. having a conversation with a woman who told me like, yeah, I just don't like pulling on my debit card in public. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Wait, what? What that got to do with anything? What you like? Well, where's your Apple Pay at, bitch? Like, <laughs> what that got to do with anything? I said, she said I'm paying I said, for what shit. You mean? She was I like, gotta stand. I just feel like you know, like I just I'm not a fan of like pulling out my debit card if I'm with a guy. A queen. Did she I say this? That. I'm dead. At the time of payment. <laughs> nah, we were having a conversation because I had realized like. Oh, I'm spending a lot of money here. I was about to say, um, for context, was it somebody that you were like courting, like getting to know? I'm not, I, or, I don't. Or getting to know. Yo, I want to getting to know. Yeah, courting. I'm not a courting guy. I well, what, a, what, do, what do we want to call this? Because sometimes somebody, somebody I'm getting like, to know. Like, getting somebody to know. I'm okay. getting to know. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And I, I, again, I have two kids that I'm raising by myself. Like, yeah. yeah. 3,000 miles away from anyone and everyone, everything that I know. So my situation, again, is very different. So I was looking up and I'm like, yo, like, you don't. I'm dropping bread over right. here, and I'm not. Yeah. I don't live a cheap lifestyle. Like I live, I live good. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so I looked up, and I was like, "Yo, like, the, you know, Saturday was like four fifty. On one, what, what, uh, one day, <laughs> one day. <laughs> we live in LA. It's not. It's not like, I, I, like, I, I stop being a homosexual and dating black women. <laughs> That's that. Two, the two hundred dollar dates went to four fifty when yeah. inflation, baby. Yeah. True. We know. Yo, inflation is wild. Mm-hmm. And and and. I had to get gas. I yeah. gas. So, so a ninety-three premium. Just, I, I brought it up. I'm like, yo, like, I wanted to go on a trip. You know what I'm saying? Before everything kicked off, and I was like, yo, like, what would you expect me to be financially responsible for on this trip? Having a conversation in advance because I'm not communication. Yeah, I'm communication. Not mm-hmm. Yeah. And she, it was the most awkward conversation ever. She acted like I asked her like what the inside of her vagina felt like. She, <laughs> she and it was just like so wild. She's like, I just don't like pulling out my debit card, and I've never had somebody ask me. Because niggas is creating bad culture. Wow. I'm not going to lie. If you would have said that to me, I actually would have been embarrassed. And this is someone who does not like to pull out their debit card. But bringing that up, I honestly would have been embarrassed. Like, oh, let me take this nigga out on a drink. <laughs> yeah. Let me go fill up this nigga's gas tank. I, yeah. And that's what she's also, also saying something. And right. And it is, saying, it, it is yeah. saying something. Trying to be polite about it. Right, right, right. 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 I would be are interested, yeah. so it's like you want to. I think, yeah. So I, I feel like on her, it is kind of like giving red flaggy because it's it like is, yeah. you're, it's giving you're selfish a little bit. Um, you know He's clearly selfish. what my situation. Is. No, no, she is. She is. She is. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's like if we mutually like like each other, and we're you know we want to take this further. Like, how can we figure something out? Like, I understand the couple of first dates I showed you, we get to know each other. I've spent money on you. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. And that, and if I was like her, that wouldn't have been my response I at all. I mean, like, I have been, because I think it's layers to it. Like I said yeah. in the beginning, am I going to? And I hate to say it, but like in the beginning, am I going to spend money? No. But if if I deem you as someone, I think that this could be something and I like you, you then it's quick. all, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like all bets are off. Like, I, yeah, I, then I, I would probably trick. Like, it's like, okay, now I got it. So, yeah. yes, of course, like if I want to go here and even let's say I want to go here and you ain't got it, like I'm going to still go. So then right. I'm going to pay. Like, it's yeah. not, 
I don't think it then becomes a thing. Like, you yeah. always see, and I hate to bring up, you know, like, all those memes, but it's like, you know, when you really like a nigga, like, you'll trick. Yeah. And some women, I think, just also aren't, I'm not saying used to that. LA is also, you're dating in LA. So I think yeah. that's a, a little caveat that we can't neglect to mention. Right. But any yeah. other place, like, I think it's like, women are like, remember there, there was that, that whole Twitter thing going around, and somebody was like, I'm willing to pay for X, Y, Z on a date. And somebody was like, I'm willing to cover my eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to cover my eyes right. when the bill comes. You know, right. everything else yeah. is like right. drinks at the next yeah. spot. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like, I, I, I think inherently women are providers and givers. And you want to providers? give. Providers? Uh, I, well, sorry, not providers. Nurture. Givers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not not okay. Just say it. Yes, Nurturers, yes. Okay. Um, so of course, if like if I'm feeling you, I'm going to do things for you. Yeah, you know, listen, man. I don't even think this woman is like a bad person. I don't even think she's one of those girls who's like uh, selfish or a gold digger. I just think that she has yet to come across a man who was willing to have the conversations early on. And she, mm. yeah, I was say, well, what she's used to. Yeah, and yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm me. Yeah. yeah, I'm me, and I'm gonna be like, hey, if I'm uncomfortable with something, I'm gonna speak up, or if I want something, I'm gonna speak up. I don't mm-hmm. have no qualms about that. Right. I'm gonna do it. And I think it was just she was a little taken aback because she just had never dealt with some because mm. a lot of men don't. Yeah. I think yeah, Nigga, that's yo, the thing. A lot of men don't stop enabling poor behavior, <laughs> it niggas. Is. It <laughs> like is. it's alright. Be a, you want to be a man? You want to be a leader? You want to fight niggas? You want to do all of that shit out in the streets, nigga? In your home, like establish the boundaries of your relationship. It's okay for men to establish boundaries as well, like. I, 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 I'm not a fan of this culture of like men feel like they have to allow women to get away with any and everything. Like, fam, if you don't like something, speak up. Yeah. But then there's also a way to speak up. Oh, for sure, one thousand yeah. percent. One thousand. You have to have yeah. tact and all right. things. Yeah. 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 But. Bitch, yeah. <laughs> 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 bitch, I didn't like the way you fucking did that. She fast bitch. And like, go back you know? in there and do it again. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, not like that. Yeah, not, not yeah, like not that. that. But speak up, man. Speak up. Speak up. It's, it's a tough one. conversation too, because some people are. Um, not as receptive yeah, to yeah. the feedback. For sure. And you yeah. gotta know how to give feedback to certain people. Specifically money and dating, right? Like it, yeah. it is money such anything. money. Anything. Yeah, money and anything. Yeah. It's such a hard conversation. Mm-hmm. And then like you even said, it goes down to like what are your level of responsibilities? Like how are you raised? What what is your lifestyle like? Like there's so many things that also go into like a money conversation yeah. in, in, a, in a relationship we like Man, dated we yeah get like there, we right. even get like we even yeah. get it's so much fam and that is what i was trying to express like we're in a vetting process right now D- not vetting yeah no legitimately <laughs> like i am trying to understand how, how money mindful you are yeah right? like if yeah. you know finances are very important to all of us and yeah. if early on you're establishing poor financial habits then that's something that i'm observing and yeah I, I have to make a decision yeah. right mm. it's true and I'm not a broke nigga. They call you a broke nigga when you mindful of your money. Like, yeah. It's just my money. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's my yeah. money, and I want it now. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah. You just you 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 have to be mindful, especially at this age. Like yeah. at 21, I wasn't thinking about that. I'm like, oh, he's been going out there. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even care about that. Now it's like, what are your financial spending habits? Oh. Like, yeah. What what are they? Like they are low key. They more important than a goddamn credit score sometimes. Like, oh, yeah. how do you spend your money? Like when you get it, are you just like frivolously spending? Mm-hmm. Cause I like y'all know I love to spend, but I'm also very. I'm very oh, conscious and yeah. yeah, y'all know I don't play about my coin. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's your, who are your sponsors? <laughs> <laughs> y'all know I don't play. That is the thing. Listen, they allow us to be teams. us. Yeah. They, exactly. they allow us to be us. Yo, um, I, I wanted to bring this up earlier and I forgot to bring it up. It was like a perfect segue, but um, <laughs> I'm scared. Me too. So because I've been having like an interesting run with women and I've been trying to like figure out how I can just have better dealings, whether or not, not even trying to find the ideal partner or my life partner, but just like situations that don't end chaotically. Mm-hmm. Peace. Um, like when it's over, we can just still be amicable. I'm not finding that to be very easy these days. Mm. So, <clears throat> what, does, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how yeah, are you I'm ending stuff? Like, that's not like, nice. I, yo, I talk, bro. Like, I'm like, yo, I ain't, I didn't like that, and because of that, I cannot go forward. Okay, I'm, I'm not a ghoster. Like, okay, I'm yeah. communicative about about things that I don't like, and. You'll feel like it, now initially it'll be like you might get I might give you a little cold shoulder 
Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm going to talk to you about, like, what happened just so that yeah. you're not in the dark about it. Whatever. Yeah. Not that I owe anybody that, but I just, it's a thing. So, I, I bought recently um, a sex toy. <laughs> I recently bought, like, a little, like, pocket pussy kind of thing. Oh, for you? For me. Okay. Um, <laughs> to help me okay. a pocket through pussy. the lonely oh, nights. Okay. And I, I'm interested in knowing... <laughs> How y'all feel about a nigga that has a masturbation sex toy? Not like the one from like y'all watch Dave? I've watched it before, yeah. That, so that not the doll, doll, yeah, not the yeah. doll, but just oh. like a little like. Oh yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I will. I, I think we have like I guess another like uh, friend podcast called Hard or Soft. And they explore like so yeah. many different conversations, whether it be taboo, whether it's not, whether you are you agree with it or not. And I will say, and even just seeing the commentary, whether it be like on their socials or you know on Twitter, it has made me a lot more open to it. Like they are both two extremely free thinking. Oh yeah, and I men. I don't even want to go yeah. on the show. Like I want to yeah, go, like, like, they keep wanting me to come yeah. on, they but they're wild. Stalking. It's they're wild. They want me to come on, so, but there's <laughs> a guy and a girl, or no, two, two guys. guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two yeah, straight two guys. Had a, yeah, two, yeah. two straight yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, like, but they are into toys. Like, any type of toy really? that you could use. Yeah. I feel yeah, like the yeah. corniest nigga on earth. I use it No, now. they have so, they have so, like, so and they'll show toys. some of yeah. them. Like, I think one of them oh, has, like, yeah. a chest box of toys. Sometimes yeah. on Twitter, yeah. I have to, like, scroll past their tweets. I thought when yeah. you said toy, I thought you meant a toy for a woman. No. That's and when I was about to give you a hard stop. Like, we talk about the rose. I feel like every episode, we, we talk about the rose. The rose has a chokehold on black women, so I yeah. thought you were going to say. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I, but I feel, well... Let me just say, like, I feel very corny using it. <laughs> oh, I feel like they can say it. Sorry. It's From stupid. brother to brother, I find nothing wrong with using <laughs> a sex toy at all. Yeah. I have one. So, and there's nothing wrong with using it. I, so, I, I, I've, 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 I've been getting cheeks for a long time, man. And just the idea, like, <laughs> it's something different when I have to, like, pre- I have to prep this You got to prep it. You got to put it on the process. You got to put it on the process. You got to put it on the process. It's just so little. It's one. not lit. It's, oh it's you got to wash it after. Oh my, yeah. like, is this what I'm evolving into? Uh, I think it's about how you approach it, right? Instead of, like, because with <laughs> women, yeah. I know you've been getting cheeks for a long time. Yeah. Women, I guess, with women masturbating using toys is like it's normal. a very it's, normal. it's, it's normalized. Yeah, normal. So I just look at it as like me time, you know, being in a relationship, having sex, but I still like to masturbate on my own, and it's just something I like to pleasure myself. It's my it's my personal me time, time. Yeah. Me time. Yeah. it's my <laughs> vagina. What yeah. do I like today? And so I think it's just how you look at it, honestly, yeah. like and and not like removing like that mask of like I'm not you know sexually with a woman obviously you can get women like so there's not that it's just you with yourself and that's yeah. totally fine there's no shame there's no shame. having I a, a pocket pussy, pussy. Yeah. I, I told my group chat and my niggas clowned me I can see that I can yeah, absolutely see that y'all immature man yeah I can see that <laughs> y'all niggas is young they, can, they, they are, are. They they are. are. Orlando got a child they, they might are. change their mind <laughs> I, yeah that's why I said Orlando that's a wild boy yeah. Yeah. Wow. but like niggas just don't talk about masturbation at all like no. that's not a conversation you have with your niggas especially yeah. like if you watch porn what kind of porn you watch and all yeah. that and recommendations of porn and all of that but it's your time yeah. <laughs> niggas do share IGs though like yo <laughs> well yeah <laughs> <laughs> IGs yeah no, no. Not, porn, not porn search but not porn search oh. yeah no 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 Okay, so okay, you're, yeah, you're I'm better about it. Yeah, yeah. obviously, your right. secret is safe. Can't let the kids sure. them. Cannot. Oh, no, yeah, no. Uh-uh. That's a they conversation. Borrow it. <laughs> or, or that. Oh, my <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'll burn my dick off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you got to hide that one. <laughs> what you oh said? The, you said the trash is busy. <laughs> right? They're like, oh, something new. <laughs> okay. Not oh in that voice. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean Where do you keep road. it? No, that was great. Do you keep it like like how women keep it? Nah, yo, like, dresser? yo, nobody come in my room, fam. I, again, I don't have female company. The kids don't really, don't, they're not really allowed in my room. Um, my shit is like, bop. It's like, boop. Is it like on your dresser? Yeah. Mine is in the nice Yeah, mine is in the nice Yeah, mine's in the nice Yeah, I'm His is like in the bed. Yours in the bed. No, nah, it's, with the it's a lot. It's a different thing for us because, like, the cleaning process is like, the, oh, the cleanup on aisle oh, seven yeah. is a little different. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> duh. You know what I mean? That's it's right. different. Thing. <laughs> yeah, it's I can just go by my bed. It's like inside. Yeah, like, it's I'm 
And then let it dry. It's oh, you open it up and it's it's fucking gross. It's fucking gross. It's not Ew. cool. It's the uncoolest thing I've ever done. Now. Because it's like when you finish, you finish. Yeah. And you, I don't want to like. Now I gotta like go clean yeah. it and yeah. dry it. It's sort of like out of the when you watch toilet. a porn and you're masturbating and it's like whatever, like oh, weird, whatever freaky that shit. Oh, turn that shit off. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 turn it. I don't what. And then I'm like, look at like, how did I get here? How did I get? I know my screen popped up deep like recently, and I was like. Oh my god, I was watching that! Oh my god! Who watch porn on your phone? Oh my iPad. Her iPad specifically. Her iPad. Yeah, that's I have a very old iPad. Screen. Yeah, I have a very old iPad. Well, y'all like big screens, that. apparently. Yes, yeah, I can't like, do phone. I can do phone. phone. I can do phone. I can do phone. I can do phone, TV, but just the internet. TV? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, TV! TV! Mad aggressive. TV! IG phone. Yes! TV's wild. Yeah, that's wild. I'm like, do do with my app remote. Do 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 do. Yes, right there, the little internet hub. Yeah. Oh, you be in the. Uh, oh, you got an Apple TV. Uh huh. That's the only. But word. even on the Samsung one too. Okay, that's you very can... aggressive, baby. <laughs> that's very aggressive. Y'all won't shame me. No, 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 no oh not at all. Do you think? I didn't mean to railroad the conversation. In the no, I I just, I've been. It should be holding this inside. It should be a positive thing. Okay. You know, we're all. We, listen, we are all talking. We have been having conversations about grace. And growth yeah. and yeah. having these conversations. So these are conversations that we need to have. I'm still like, oh my god, the little thing, the little pocket thing has all the, the stuff in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not really. It's not a. It's not the pocket one. It's actually like a big like. It's a thing, but it's. It's like a sleeve. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my oh, god. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. We know about yeah. that. I know yeah. about that one. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. That's a good one. I invested. Yeah. I would, yeah. Again, I spend money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got, like, again, a again, I'm not. That has the grooves inside. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's, and then they have, oh like, that a one doesn't on the count. Outside. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't. Okay, that doesn't. Yeah, that's a good one. And you hit the little buttons on the outside. Yeah. And there's different grooves. Yeah. yeah. And you don't um, even need nobody, child. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stupid version. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but I haven't been like. That no, but I have been like cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I gotta. Be like, fuck these broke bitches. I'm gonna take care of this myself. Take care of that. Take it like, I go to my own gas tank. I yeah. can do what I want to do. Go where I want to go. Yeah. Like, I love I love my own company, child. Like I can sit there. I can go to dinner by myself. Have a great Same. girl time. Uh, Movies. Uh, I don't care. And then I end can... it with the rose. And then end it with the rose. End it with the great. rose. Does the rose make noise? Is it loud? Is there like a suction? It's, it's just a like, suction, but it's not yeah, that loud. It's not, it's not loud. that loud. Mm-hmm. I would hope not. You know, you're a little bit of a noise. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Oh, it's motorized? No, it's not motorized, but it's like, like it's like a gush. Yeah, okay. it's not great. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've only just seen what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen it in action. <laughs> Yo, it's yeah. so wow. distracting. I'm like, oh my God. So you can't get that when other people are like around <laughs> because wow. if you get a little aggressive, it's not yeah. discreet. It's no. not very discreet, no. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm dead. On that, on that note, on that note. So flash waterfall. You know our ending show questions. I actually remember yours. Yeah. And it was, oh, what yeah. would you tell your younger self? Pull out. Yeah. yeah sorry. Pull, pull out. out. <laughs> I love my son. What? <laughs> you said that too. I love my son. You did. You did. Yeah. That. You said that right after. Um, <laughs> is that the same advice that you would tell your younger? Like, what would you actually tell to your nephew? And your son at the ages that they are now. Ooh, that's a good mm. clip. Um, we have a lot of conversations. I, I literally tell them everything that I think is of value. Um, let me throw out the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle. Like black men, we live very like repressed lives. Um, we have to hold a lot of things and we have to not experience certain things because we're afraid of like feeling publicly judgment, a, a number of things, right? Like not feeling like we have enough opportunities, enough bullets <clears throat> in the gun, you know, to, to have another another shot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I was very afraid for years and years and years to like try to do things that I knew I was capable of, but I was afraid of like failing and embarrassment. Mm. Um, and my son, I see so much of myself in him. The kid is like, he can be whatever he wants to be. <clears throat> and he just has a tendency to shy away from new experiences because he's not perfect at it. Mm. Um, he's afraid of failing. And I, I hope and I pray that, you know, him being out here will inspire a, a, a change in thought and that anything is possible, right? I live, I live, I live, I do dope shit. 
you know, it, fuck it, it is what it is. Like, yeah. I hope that he can see his dad, like, doing shit and be like, oh. I can do that, too. Um, so, live fearlessly, you know? Live fearlessly, man. I think that even applies for adults. You yeah. know, you're like, yeah. it's you're so scared to take that leap because you don't know, you know? Right. And that that's not even just for kids. Like, you probably see it all the time with adults. Like, so, I love that. Yeah, that's it. No, no, I mean, that's not even that's it. That's real. Um, I think that's a lot of our stories. Like, you know, all we're all together because we all have a common goal um, around doing bigger things for ourselves. 14, 16, I would have had no idea I'd be doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. And it probably took me longer to get to this point because I didn't have somebody to have the same thing that you're saying to me. And I was scared. Yeah, yeah. Very scary. Yeah. Very. Spooky out here, man. Evil world. <laughs> <laughs> and... Same thing, what do you know for sure? Like in life? Yes. Anything. Ooh, what do I know for sure? I know for sure that money is attracted to me. I know for sure that I can create whatever life that I want so long as I submit to the work that is necessary. I know for sure that I am designed and built to win. Come on. I'm about to add these affirmations to my meditations. Those Um, are some good ones. That was really good. All I could think about, you know, the Dave Chappelle thing where he got the money. He's like, oh, oh. (laughs) That's all I could think about. (laughs) I know for sure that money is attractive. Yeah, I love that. Money is attractive. A money magnet. No, it it is. Yo, I be... I mean, I went years being broke, and it's because I was like, money don't like me. You know, like, how am mm-hmm. I going to get it? Yeah. And I, was, I was too busy chasing instead of just, like, chasing passion. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, I, man, the past fucking two, three years, man, like, in the midst of this pandemic especially, like, it, my life has changed so drastically. Like, I am so happy with myself. Yeah. I am so in love with myself right now. Like, I am thankful. I am thankful for the time away, the time off from all things that were slowing my process up. Thank mm. you. I know the pandemic was very rough on a lot of people, but for me, I I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for that time period. I was just going to say that. Yeah, because it, it finally gave us that opportunity. Like, you had to sit still. Yeah. Like, yeah. we were forced to slow down. Slow down and, yeah. like, and, I, and I, if you choose to, like, even look internally. Because, like, same thing. Like, the past two years, I was like, damn. I, I was reading my journal recently, and I was like, damn, kind of like, I was like, a bitch has grown, okay? Like, internally more so. Um, I I don't I can't say that that would have happened had I kept just you know going and going and doing this yeah. doing this now granted we are c- very quickly getting back to that too fast but yeah, I don't think too fast. where now I can kind of say like oh let me reclaim my time a little bit like let me somebody actually came to me they were like how do you set boundaries you do a really good job of it and I'm like do I because I don't think I do actually I need to set more yeah. but I think it can. You know, I probably would not have done that again. Mm-hmm. I would not have been like, no, let's just keep going. It's okay. It's okay. We're now it's like, no, that's not okay. Mm-hmm. I don't feel good. This does not feel healthy. Like, we're going to take a little step back and yeah. assess, like, how does this work for me? Yeah, man. I'd be distracted. So when there wasn't that many distractions to distract me, mm. oh, nigga. Yeah. So productivity <laughs> just went crazy. Yeah. It's true. Crazy. Loved it. Love that for me. Come on. Love that for you. Love that for you. Material girl. It's really I just You know, I love sauce and Um, well the quote is um, once I've made it clear, oh, look at this. Once I've made it clear what my boundaries are and you still decide to move without intention or care. Heavy on the how about I never speak to you again. Actually, sorry, that wasn't the one. Um, Let's say what? Not a bird? What? So no mad positive shit. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. What? Super bird. That was not. Sorry. <laughs> it was like, okay, it, it was a slap. It was a slap. What are we talking about? It was like a, sorry, it was like a slap. I was what? on the wrong, it was the wrong one. <laughs> Where are you at? On Weed Urban? This is actually <laughs> okay. My bad. All I'm focused on right now is making sure my heart is right, my spirit is right, my body is right, and my business is right. So yes. I can so I can keep doing what I was put here to do. Come on, okay. Now. Purpose. My bad. The same purpose. person wrote those two steps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Range. Duality. <laughs> Duality. <laughs> That's our show. That's our podcast. Hello. <laughs> Where can people find you? Um, on all things social media at Rodney Rikai, R-I-K-A-I. Um, I am usually at home 
Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. You know, Same. My company, right. Lately, early productions. Lately, early pride on all things social media. Oh, and aren't you hosting Broccoli Fest? Oh yes. Yeah, for the right. DC girls, because I'm thinking we go, I'm gonna go to Indiana. Yeah, well, that's, the show there. is gonna be crazy. We haven't had a Broccoli City show in in two years, and uh, this year it's a two day festival. You know, it falls on on Mother's Day weekend. It is what it is. But bring your mom out, man. It's gonna be bring an amazing mommy. time. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. As long as it doesn't rain. Yeah, y'all, th- there has been, the last one I went to was like porn. It always rains, every yeah. year. Every year it rains, not this year, I'm claiming it. Yeah. Yeah. No rain. Yeah. I haven't so. been to one. Maybe I'm going to check. I actually oh, no, 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 30,000 black people getting together in song, having a good time. Wale's set is going to be crazy. So he's performing? Yeah, he's coming there? Yeah, Wale's okay. still coming. Okay. Wale and friends. I have some not intel, Wale. some inside information. Okay. I can't okay. spill the tea, but... Yeah. Special. Wale is an amazing artist. I think he's top five of his generation, if not top three. Personally. Okay. Shout out to Broccoli City. Yeah, yeah. Love to see black people. Do. You know, DC is my favorite city, so also. Most of all. Yeah, DC or Atlanta? Favorite. Which one choose? DC. DC. So why are you moving to Atlanta? Oh, uh, because my, uh, my career is in Atlanta. Mm. Well, I would be right Atlanta. back in DC. DC is like just as expensive. The same way. DC Atlanta is just as expensive as like New York. Not, well, well no, DC I proper. Say, yeah, I, I really low key. I would buy me a little house in Louis okay. and call it a yeah. day. I'd be yeah. right below. I'd be in Columbia. The real plum. Of, I would I mean, be in Columbia. It's Maryland. so rich in blackness. I love DC. Yeah, man. it, might, it, it might, used to be rich in blackness. Not no, it still kind of is. It's it's it is. I went to dinner like is last it? Friday and was like, I, you would never. And it was like a really nice Mexican restaurant, mm-hmm. and I was like, you would not experience this. Like, not even really in New York. Like, and it DC is like the upscale Atlanta, and niggas have government jobs. That's it. Okay. It is. I see that. Yeah. My my, I my preferred see that. What DC? Yeah, my yeah, preferred. No, I was preferred. Black city. My Oakland too. I love Oakland. I've never been to Oakland, so I can't really speak Oakland's on that. Hard. But um, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna get on with shit. But like I said, I'm gonna have my little house in Marietta, and I'm ghetto. Yeah. So that's why I, I'm not gonna <laughs> say it's ghetto. ghetto. It's just not, I can't. It's ghetto as shit. It's country's hell. I like that. Man, Ryan Coogler, they wouldn't do that to niggas in DC. He was in Atlanta. They was. Wakanda. Yeah, he was in Atlanta. Yeah. He was in Atlanta. The oh, Wakanda. And it was, I, know, I was like, do yeah. I need to switch from Bank of America? No, yes. that's not a BOA thing. That's not a BOA thing. That's that woman thing. You got Bank of America? Yeah, I got okay, my business why. and my okay. person. Yeah. I've had the same account since I was a child. So, like, yeah, I've never been at any other bank. But I was like, oh, oh not Bank of America acting like that. I've never Ooh. Been Bank of America. Y'all probably going to want to cut this out. How do you feel about um, black women Karens? Oh, black woman can't. Oh, that, oh, no, that that I don't. I don't agree with that at no. all. No, no, absolutely not. Like, especially if I'm coming to you, I have my ID. Should I, we I, my, table this for Patreon, maybe? Oh, maybe we should. Do we maybe. have time? We got a couple minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, log on for the Patreon. Mm. Yeah. Bye, y'all. <laughs> mm.